Hello and welcome back to another episode of Math with Sone. Today we're going to be dealing with a hydraulic system, but also ranking some pressure as well, because these are two different things. You may think that uh, the same uh, would apply to both. So in the first situation, if we were ranking the pressure that would be at the bottom of each of these things, it would be the same. The pressure on A would be the same as B, it would be the same on C, because it's relating to height, and all three of those have the same height. All right? That is much, much different than what we have here. This is a sealed container, and because fluid is incompressible, that means that the pressure here is equal to the same pressure as up here because we're compressing the fluid. It's not a difference of gravity and things like that. All right? Now, with that in mind, we are going to be able to deal with this in terms of how in the world are we going to solve a problem like this? Well, in this problem, you have a tiny kid pushing down on this hydraulic system and is able to lift up a very heavy object. And you might be asking, how is that possible to do? Well, because the pressure is the same for both of these, that means the force divided by the area must be the same for both of them, all right? which means that the force here, because it's a small area, will be able to be much, much smaller than the force that would be here. We can lift a heavy car, but we will have to compromise. This car might only lift up like a little tiny bit versus this kid, this tiny kid is gonna have to push down very, very long distance. So he's gonna have to do a whole bunch of distance to only lift it a little tiny bit, but he will be able to accomplish great feats. He can lift a car by just using a little tiny bit of force, all right? So let's say that this area right here is, I don't know, it's smaller. Let's say it is point, we'll go with one meter squared, and this area right here will have to be much bigger. Let's say it is 10 meters squared, okay? Now the force that would have to be applied, let's say we're wanting to lift a really heavy 1,000 kilogram thing which nobody that I know of can actually do, that is going to equal, if we multiply it by 10, 10,000 newtons. So we would have 10,000 newtons for the car divided by an area of 10 must equal the force that this kid is going to have to apply divided by 1. All right, let's see what happens here. We would have 10,000 divided by 10. The force that you would have to apply is 1,000 newtons. Now you might ask yourself, is that possible for a tiny kid? Uh, and the answer to that is probably not, because that's equivalent to lifting about 10 people. But if we decreased the diameter from 1 meter to 0.1 meter, well then it might actually be possible, because if we cross multiply it now, it'd be about the equivalent of lifting up just a singular push, uh, person, which would be, uh, it would be 100 newtons, and 100 newtons with 0.1 is way more believable for a tiny kid to maybe with a, a good feat of strength to be able to do. Okay? That's going to do it for this one. It's a short one, uh, but I will continue to be making videos on the next one. We're going to be talking about volume continuity and Bernoulli's equation. I will see you all then. Bye.